Welcome back to the Duranify channel, YouTube. In this video, we're going to be comparing the cameras on the Xiaomi Fimi X8 SE versus the latest release from DJI, the DJI Mavic Air 2. The Xiaomi Fimi X8 SE is going to be filming in 4K 30 frames a second, while the Mavic Air 2 will be filming in 60 frames a second. All right, let's jump into the video comparison and see what you guys think. All right, let's get to it. So here I am on the other side of the intro and I want to just kind of do a level set and let you know that the, the Fimi X8 SE was the, this is the maiden flight of the Fimi X8 SE and I had published a previous video just showing the maiden flight. This is clips from that maiden flight um, and they're flying laterally over the James River with the city skyline in the background with the railroad tracks right in front of it. And so it gives it a very nice cinematic look with a lot of shadows and a lot of lighting and a lot of reflection. So it gives you a good feel what the camera is going to be like. So you'll notice that the Fimi camera is a different color than the Mavic Air 2 camera. So you guys take, take a real good look at the, the two cameras and decide which one you prefer. Okay? So I flew the Mavic Air 2 next and um, if it's same lateral type flight is not going to be exactly the same thing but it's pretty close to it that it gives you a very good com comparison of the lighting and the shadows again with the city in the background with the river below it and where the railroads right in the forefront so that should be a really nice comparison of the camera so I'm looking forward to hearing what your comments are like so let me know which camera you prefer and why, okay? All right, the X8SE is shot in 4K, 30 frames a second, and the Mavic Air 2 is shot in 4K, 30, uh, excuse me, 60 frames a second. And I've uh, rendered this video in 4K and uploaded it to YouTube in 4K. All right, so the best way to view this video comparison is going to be on a 4k display either your TV that's 4k or a nice monitor that's 4k and the next best thing would be you know a 1080p display 1k display and the least favorite of course is going to be on a phone uh, because you know you lose a lot of the resolution on on your phone even though some of your new phones are 4k um, it just doesn't look the same for some reason Anyway, that's the level set. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Look forward to reading your comments below. And I will see you on the other side of the, of, of the video. All right, we'll do the final thoughts and conclusions. All right, let's get to it. Feel better, find a way out. 
problem Blame it on the process This too shall pass So there's no need to stop it Quick fixes Quick fixes On the quick fixes How we gonna fix this? between both of the cameras so you guys are going to have to decide which one you prefer so in my opinion um, the Femi X8 CE gave you some really nice highlights on the blue side and the DJI um, it was so sharp sometimes it was a bit too clinical for my taste but it's still like the best drill in 2020 so far right and the camera I'm still exploring all the capabilities but um, yeah, I mean, uh, both cameras are shot in uh, over 100 megabits per second, so that gives you a good chance to do a lot of post-processing without tearing up your video quality. So that's the beautiful thing about both of these cameras. They're shooting over 100 megabits per second, and those amount of bits allows you to you know, customize your video the way you like it, right? If you want to give it more of a blue tint or more of a orange tint, you could do that in post-processing. So, that's the beautiful thing about these nice cameras that we're seeing on the drones today, okay? All right, look forward to reading your comments, and thanks again for watching the Duranify channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like the contents of the channel, hit that subscribe button, guys. All right, thanks for watching. See you in future videos, okay? Alright. Bye bye. Quick fixes.